business so much easier, especially for the consumer. But that ease can cut into the bottom line for some businesses. Tara Hall reports from Lawrence on how one business got creative to keep their customers coming back. Take a look. Most drivers pay for their gas right at the pump, which means they never set foot inside a convenience store. Now that is creating a major challenge for retailers who rely on those inside sales to generate profits. When James Pruitt started driving, paying for gas at the pump wasn't even an option. But nowadays he can fill up his car and his stomach with the touch of a button. You're right here at the car pumping your gas. You don't have to go inside until you pick up your order. So we're in a time crunch society, so everybody wants to move quickly. Ordering a sandwich in a tank full is the brainchild of Scott Zaremba. The Zarco USA gas station owner noticed that the drivers who paid at the pump weren't coming inside his convenience store and sandbar sub shop. The gas business is very competitive, and so we want to do everything we can to help um, bring the customer into our store, sell customer other things other than gasoline. So we figured if they won't come to him, he'd go to them. It's just like their phone. And so they can use the, the touch screen, be able to get the product they want, and have it ready for them by the time they walk inside. While the pay at the pump system took years to create and a lot of money to fund, Zaremba is hopeful that this technology will pay off in the long run. While they're only selling sandwiches at the pump from now, Zarco USA and Sandbar Sub Shop envision selling so much more, including the technology that got this whole thing started in the first place. For the Now KC, I'm Tara Hall. A great idea, and Zarco USA is one of the first gas stations to try out this technology right here. Pretty cool. Eventually, owner Scott Zaremba says he wants to sell everything from t shirts to auto service to customers at the pump. As for the app he's developed, well, he plans to sell it to his competitors. Going to make some money.